Here is another breast biopsy on the top end of the field, and here is a so-called normal breast on the bottom. Notice that in a normal breast, or at least normal for a postmenopausal woman, most of the tissue in the breast biopsy is actually fibrous tissue. Probably less than half are uh, lobules and asini. Here is a classical lobule, and these little round circles within it are asini. Notice that they are generally growing in a nice, normal fashion. And I bet you if I could blow up on this lobule uh, high enough, maybe we'll be even lucky enough to see some myoepithelial cells. Uh, perhaps some of these more spindly cells like here and here towards the periphery. This is a normal lobule blown up. Here is our biopsy in question. The first thing you could note from our biopsy in question is that there is a large proliferation of glandular activity and there are a lot of cysts. Let's look at the thing by itself. Here are some cystic areas, and generally this breast is proliferated. Look at all of the epithelium, bluer stuff within here. Look how these epithelial structures are right up against each other. Look at how some of these cysts appear to have necrotic material inside them. Uh, let's take a closer look at this necrotic cyst. If you can see towards the periphery, you can recognize epithelial cells, but in the middle, there is this area in which you cannot recognize cellular outline and this kind of granular and junky and eosinophilic or hyalinized. This is necrosis. Necrosis within uh, proliferated uh, ducts within the breast is a very, very, very ominous sign. It usually means malignancy. And uh, in addition, you can see that there has been some chronic hemorrhage out here uh, because if you look closely at these cells, they have the characteristics of hemosiderin laden macrophages, as you can see here. But in addition, there is a more bluer, um, almost microscopic foci of material, which uh, I think what you would have no trouble recognizing as calcium. So not only are pinpoint areas of calcium within these ducts, within the necrotic material, but there's also chronic hemorrhage or this more brownish hemosiderin uh, at the edge of the duct. Notice the cells themselves do not look terribly scary. Oh, I think we could probably say they have some features of malignancy if you were a real sharp person. But uh, in general, they look rather uniform. So pleomorphism is not the main feature to diagnose uh, malignancy in breast ducts. It's necrosis, which is much more important. There's a whole bunch of other features, but I just thought I'd mention the most important one. This is intraductal carcinoma of the breast, or ductal carcinoma in situ, also called DCIS, if you happen to be an uh, acronym person. Now, if you were to examine this biopsy very carefully at these ducts, some of which have necrosis, like here and here, or just a biopsy in general, and if you were to see that some of these ducts are actually showing infiltrating nests into the surrounding fibrous tissue, then it would no longer be an in situ lesion, wouldn't it? It would be an infiltrating lesions, and infiltrating lesions are infinitely uh, more dangerous than in situ lesion. But if you examine this carefully and could see that all of the cancer is contained within these irregular ducts, uh, and you examined it very carefully, you have done this woman and her surgeon a big favor because you are telling them that it, uh, for all practical purposes, she's probably cured. Thank you very much.